Do you struggle to talk on camera? Do you feel shy or anxious? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can fix that problem. There will be times in the past where I'd be recording a video and it could lead to a few moments of silence or me just rambling on about nonsense. And there's nothing worse when you're recording a video and you're at a loss for words. This can really give your viewer a sense that you're not confident in what you're saying or this could even break your trust between you and your viewer. But a way to fix this is to simply spend an extra hour just scripting or planning your video. You could write out a script or you could just write down a few bullet points. This can really help with knowing what you actually want to say and it can also help with getting your point across. And when you actually know what you want to say, it can help with speaking more clearly and actually sounding more interesting. Because of course you don't want to end up just rambling on about something that's not got to do with the topic of your video. It can also save up a lot of time when you're editing your video because you're not just constantly cutting out waste of footage. See when planning out your videos it really helps with getting straight to the point and any successful content creator focuses on this skill. One thing to remember is you don't have to read off a script word for word as i already mentioned you could write down a few bullet points and read off of them for your video and that could also help with coming off more natural and just like anything this is a skill that can be improved and constantly practiced on you might say mark this is exactly what i came to this video for to learn how to show confidence but that's exactly what I'm going to teach you right now. A simple way you can present more confidence when you're on camera is to simply readjust your posture and sit up straight. Because let's be honest, if you're slouched over, it doesn't really look too professional. And most likely you would never see anybody on TV sitting with a bad posture. You can also use hand gestures as this can show that you're confident in what you're saying. And it can also make what you're talking about easier. A lot of people do find it harder to get their point across without using their hands while talking. Now another tip that you could do, which actually might be hard for a lot of people, is to look directly into the lens when speaking, as this can make your audience feel more connected with you. And I know this can be awkward at first, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you will get with it. It's just like speaking to someone while making eye contact with them. And lastly, what you wanna improve is to speak more clearly, and actually sitting with good posture can help you speak with more clear words. And according to Andrew Huberman, reading can actually be a great tool to improve your speaking while communicating with other people or even just talking on camera and just like everything else this is a skill that needs to be practiced on i think it's good to also be aware of what you and your background looks like see you can instantly lose a viewer's attention if you have messy hair or even if you have a messy background because it doesn't make your video look professional as you want it to look. You want to make sure your video is looking good before recording and you can simply just clean up your background of your room before filming a video. You could even invest in a few artificial plants or some lights for the background of your videos to make them look cleaner and more professional. Another tip is as well is to have a good camera angle because I don't think anyone wants to be looking at your chin or looking at the top of your head when you're speaking. I think a good placement for your camera is to have it at eye level as this can make your viewer feel more connected with you and also you'd want to improve your lighting if you haven't already yet you can simply just buy some cheap lights on Amazon to make your video look way better but if you don't wanna or can't buy lighting you can always record by a window as natural light can make your video look just as good as well and believe it or not it doesn't really matter which camera you record on or even if you record on your phone simply by getting good lighting can make your video look 10 times more professional they're just recording with some dull room. Are you scared of what people might think of you or are you scared of being the center of attention? You need to ask yourself these questions because before trying to solve a problem, you have to understand it first. Remember, it's completely normal to feel uncomfortable on camera, especially if it's your first time. You aren't the only one and getting comfortable on camera can take a lot of time. That should just be another reason for you to do it more and more and constantly practice. You need to take time to practice, improve your storytelling skills, your communication skills, your skills for talking on camera, and even just getting your point across. Now, this won't happen overnight, but if you take these skills I taught you in this video and really try to improve them, I can guarantee you, you will see good results. These helped me, so there's no doubt that they can help you as well. I hope I helped anyone who is struggling to get comfortable on camera and trust me, I understand it and it's completely normal and especially if it's your first time. But if you really do take the time to improve, you will see a change in the future.